Hi, this evening I want to talk to us about um, finding and creating balance for our lives. And as I have grown and especially this year, I've come to realize that things don't get easier. You will never, there will never be that time where you become less busier. There will never be that time where you don't have anything to do. As a matter of fact, Things keep increasing on a daily basis. Responsibilities keep will keep increasing. You keep finding what to do. It's either okay, there is school work to do, there is projects, there is house, there is relationship, there are other things for you to do and take care of. So how do you get to that place where none of this is suffering? How do you get to that place where you are able to manage every responsibility that would come to you? and then um, still ensure that you're living your best life so here is the first thing i want to talk about um the first thing i want to talk about is you first of all um yearning for growth you have to grow in your individual life in whatever you are doing growth is necessary so you should look for ways to grow look for ways to enrich your learning so there are courses to take online your dream and tag academy so there are other things you need to do so once you have that growth mindset it's going to enlarge it's like an elasticity it's going to enlarge and create room for you to also um um, be able to accommodate other things that would happen. So the first thing is to get the growth mindset. The second thing is to itemize everything you do on a daily basis. Sometimes we think, oh my God, I'm choking. There is a lot of work to be done. But on a normal day, if you sit down and then make a list of what you have done, you would probably realize that there would have been more time for you to do other things. You are not just organized you didn't just pay attention to other things you just focused on one particular job and that was it so there are times i sat in front of my laptop for over six to ten hours doing a particular work i would just be there i am working i'm i'm sending and responding to emails and i can do that for 10 hours and then i'm like what's going on today has just finished i have not done anything but it didn't mean that there were no other things for me to do i didn't just pay attention to them so what i have done is on a daily basis the days i know that i have a lot of work to do i get out my to-do list and um and then I itemize everything I need to do. And I go a step further by putting time. So I'm going to attend to emails from um, twelve uh, from 10 um, a.m. to 12 noon. I'm going to do this. I'm going to read from 1 p.m. to day. So I put time to it. And I also set alarms so that I, the alarm literally just tell me, okay, this is what you have to do. Um, if I am done with this, it goes off. And I know that once that alarm goes off, I need to stop whatever it is that I'm doing to focus on something else. So the first thing is have the growth mindset and uh, make room for more work in your life the second thing is make a list of everything you do on a daily basis we, what, when do you wake up you wake up 5 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m what happens between 5 a.m oh not what happens between 6 a.m to 10 p.m that you go to bed or 12 a.m that you go to bed what happens between the period what do you do from 6 a.m to 7 or 8 a.m what do you do from 8 15 to 9 what do you do from 10 to 1 what do you do from 1 to 3 if you can adequately put um activities to time you will be able to save more time and then you will realize that you get more done there are days i have finished my own my personal work as at 4 p.m and i'm like really i have so much time to play with and that's because i allotted time to each of them and i am giving myself room right to 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 to, to accommodate more so the third thing I needed to do also is to ensure that as you're setting this time, you don't leave any area of your life out of it. So I would suggest that you wake up in the morning between you say between six and six thirty or between six and seven o'clock. I'm going to have my quiet time. I'm going to pray. I'm going to read my Bible and just spend time with God. 
from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock i'm going to clean up the house i'm going to take care um wash the dishes if they are dirty i'm going to do whatever it is that i need to do so you put time to eat from 9 or oh, and then i'm going to have a bath from 9 to 10 or to 11 o'clock okay i'm going to listen to um an ebook i'm going to watch something i'm going to ask mom since the school is not in session and if you're working there is coffee you're not able to go out you're still working from home or if you know you're in the office okay once i get to office between 8 and 12 i'm going to try to sort out the pressing need that i wasn't able to sort out the previous day so you get that done and then between 12 and 1 as i'm working i'm going to put on I'm going to listen to an audio, have my earpiece on and listen to an audio. So just ensure that everything you have to do on a daily basis, you, you incorporate it so that no aspect is suffering. You have to do it because if you focus only on one thing that you think is important, sooner than you expect you're going to find yourself in that place where you're no longer satisfied with life satisfied with what you're going you're doing you become irritable you're angry you just feel like i'm doing so much there is no result i'm saying this because i've been here a couple of times and i me organizing myself and me now having to do everything i need to do has you know brought back that excitement that i need to work so you make sure that everything you ought to do on a daily basis is on that list and you do it. And another thing you also need to do in creating balance is, um, they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So if you all you have to do is work, 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 and you don't even put a time for me for you to relax, have fun, it's going to it's not going to be nice, right? So it's just going to be like you're slaving away. So even in your creating balance, you also need to create balance for we need to create time for you to enjoy, for you to relax. So if it is okay, um every Saturday or every evening from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., I'm going to watch maybe not every evening. I'm going to watch a Netflix movie, I'm going to watch a movie on YouTube or on DSTV. You just put it there. And you, it's something you look forward to. So as you're working every day, you are looking forward to 10 p.m. on Friday because you are going to watch Netflix movie. And I think that's going to help a lot. Well, you know that there is a reward system. Or every Sunday or once in three days after all the hectic work, I'm just going to go and buy myself maybe um ice cream supreme ice cream of 500 or go get cold stone or i'm just you know do, or get shawarma pizza or just go see a movie out you know so once you can put a reward system for yourself you will always be eager to accomplish it because you know that the more you pay attention to it the more you work that there is a reward system waiting for you and you're going to actually feel guilty if on a friday night you sit down with your popcorn and you're watching netflix on your phone and you know that you didn't accomplish everything you needed to accomplish um that week or in that period so reward system works and also you um in creating balance look for who can help you there are some work there are some tasks that you actually don't have to do on your own right so for me um i try to even though i know how to do a few things if i can get help i try to get help so that i don't get choked because if somebody can help you with certain things it's going to take a lot of load off you so look at your schedule, look at your life. What can someone help you do? What can your friends help you do? Or you need to work, what can this person help you do? And in return, what can you also help them do? Because nobody wants to feel like a user. And even if you can't, if, they, if you can't help them to carry out an activity, can you also help them financially? Like, oh, for, you just did this for me, or take this credit, or take this little money, you know, just a way of saying thank you so that people don't end up feeling used. And because even when they say, oh, I want to help you, I want to help you, if you don't reciprocate, at the end, they are going to get tired. So the long and short is, you look for who to help you take some load off you and you also help someone by taking load off them. 
and as you do this you're going to find out that you're beginning you will begin to achieve more and that 24 hours will now become too much because you would have done almost everything you need to do in that set time now i'm not i'm not saying that it's going to be easy and it will go smoothly every day there are days where you need to do more there are days where um you, you won't even follow your schedule because there are emergencies for you to attend to there is this call you just wake up to a text message from mom school just gave you one assignment you know or some things are happening that you might not follow your schedule it's okay what you now do is at the end of that day look at that same schedule look at what you have for the next day and see how you can split it for the rest of the day or the rest of the week so that you are not left behind or lacking behind but the important thing is you need to create your schedule and especially now that you're going to be doing um um tag mentorship program there are activities that you need to do and you need to create a schedule for it there are things you need to there are books you would read there are videos you would watch there are things you would have to pay attention to and if you think your life is already full guess what in the next few weeks there are also more activities not even from tag academy that will come up for you to also adventure in your parents are going to give you work you're going to get contracts to do you're going to get scholarship you're going to get stuff right that would um just kind of disrupt your plan but the end game is not to make you feel useless the end game is for you to enlarge yourself enlarge your mind so that you can accommodate everything as they come and at the beginning it might look overwhelming it might look tiring it might look it might be stressful you might get to that place where you just feel like i don't think i can cope i don't think i can do this anymore i am tired but as you keep to it as you pay attention to yourself as you um follow through your schedule you should also you will begin to see that you begin to enlarge and you have enough space you know to accommodate the new that is coming and another thing is if you fail like i've mentioned before don't beat yourself up too much look at it look at where you stopped and then um um spread it to the whole of the week or the whole of the month but of course when you see that you now have more work to do it will help you to you know to tighten your belt so that you can do more and other way it works is so the days you have lesser work and you have a spillover you can always go back to it so that you can do the work you have um missed the previous day but in all so the task i want you to do for me is that at the end of this voice note for you to get the stacks it means that you actually listen to the whole voice note so what i want you to do for me is that i need you to look at your shadow what do you do on a week on a daily basis look at from 6 a.m in the morning to 10 p.m let's use 6 a.m to 10 p.m at night what do you do from 6 from 6 a.m to 10 p.m i need you to put a time to everything you do and let me know when you think there is going to be a free time for you that is the assignment i'm waiting to get from you latest tomorrow 6 p.m yes so look at your shadow look at your days how do you spend your days how do you how does everything work for you so at the end of it you're going to write out from 6 a.m. to 6 30 and you don't have to lie if you don't know what you're if if, if you don't if you've not been um, paying attention to the times and the things you're doing this is now time to start but um previously based on how you have operated until this moment that you're listening to this vm i need you to itemize while your day has been going and also take it a step further so if you feel that you're not doing the things that you need to do i need you to take it a step further by now um trying to reconstruct your days and say okay starting from today from 6 a.m to uh, 7 a.m or from 6 a.m to 8 a.m i'm going to it's going to be my personal me time where i have a bad i read my bible and i just arrange myself for the day but whatever it is i need you to send me your to-do list for the day and then if possible send not just for the day but for the week what you do um mon what you do morning till evening and what you do monday to sunday i look forward to hearing from you between now or let me just make it 10 p.m tomorrow evening see you then bye